All right, so for this Nomad Sculpt uh, modeling video, we're gonna do a washer. We get our, our front, our back, and our top view, and then like a little 3D view of it so you can easily see it. We're gonna do like a front loading one instead of top loading washer. Um, also a reminder, uh, you have to do like a wash cycle for your washer every 10 wash cycles or every or you know after your wash clothes 10 times or at least once a month otherwise you're gonna have issues so just a friendly <laughs> reminder it depends on your make and model but um yeah you should at least do a, a clean cycle for your washer once a month all right let's get started sorry that was really random all right okay up. Let's make this like this four by fours for those little squares. We're not really scaling it to the right, but all right. Validate. Then we do the same thing. Another box. This one's much smaller. Top view. Right there. Mm. Yeah, should be good. There you go. Then about that much. Go in here, then go up. Top. All right, it's not bad. All right. Validate for now. All right. So then we gotta do our little knobs. So, the starting knob, do a cylinder. Okay, up. That is a huge knob. All right. Front. And that is your starting knob right there. Let's do another little square. Go up this way. This will be like the screen where you choose the options for your washer. So that. All right. Bad. Get a front. That's not terrible. All right. Validate. All right. So there you have it. Your button to start and your button and your touchscreen pad for your washer. Let's see. Do those little exhausts at the bottom. So, box up all the way back. We're just gonna do over here. All right. That should be good. Okay, let's duplicate that. All right, that's good. Add them all together. Simple merge, go down right about here. Take them out. That's the big box right here. 
do a box merge. All right, exhaust is out right there. And we're gonna do front loading. So front, um, giant circle. So cylinder. Facing this way, that way, front. That's about even. All right, that's good. Then we're gonna take it out. So, right, and the first one. Submerge. Oh, where, where is it? Oh, this one. No, my bad. Box submerge. Like it's taken out. And now we're going to do like the cover for this. So, uh, another cylinder. 90 degrees, go to your front, try to match it up as best you can here, and make it a little bigger, push it out this way, like that. Oh, I forgot. Um, what's it called? Donut hole. There it is. All right. Front. All right. Validate. Box merge. We're gonna smooth this out. Kind of looks like a little Lego block, but this is simple washer, so don't worry too much about it. Smooth it out as best you can. All right, and then we are gonna add a little square box. Sorry, Front. All right, how about here is good. Doesn't need to be that big. All right. Front. All right. Validate. All right. And then we're going to add another cylinder. 90, really thin, over here, right about there, go back, front, up, to the side, top, And that'll act, that little square block will be like the hinge. So, yeah, all right. And there you have the, the what do you call it? Um, 
the <laughs> the washer um what's it called i'm not sure what it's called all right so anyway uh close and there is simple washer touch screen start button your washer clothes thing i i have no idea and your little exhaust thing all right so hope that helps it's a front loading washer um and yeah best of luck so let's do some uv unwrapping and then it's all yours to use however you like That's going to take a little bit. Okay, well, this is taking longer than I expected. Um, you're more than welcome to keep on <laughs> waiting with me. But, uh, you know, video's pretty much done. Uh, and there we are. Sweet. All right. Let's unwrap the other stuff. Sweet. All right. So this is fully UV unwrap. Uh, now you can use it on Blender or other programs. Really up to you. I uh, hope it helps. The asset's free. And uh, have a good day.